do to have an opportunity to win the game. Uh, this is the one game that, you know, we've had two games where we had good leads and uh, missed some free throws down the stretch, and so we were able to win. But you're playing a good team. They're playing well. You know, you can't miss 11 free throws. That's, that's really the ball game. You know, we did everything we could to get back in it. Two deficits, overcame two 10-point deficits, first half, second half. And uh, you go to the free throw line in those situations. Uh, you know, you have to make those free throws. But uh, we played hard. We battled as, as hard as we could. And uh, we gave a great, great effort. This game comes down to you got to be able to make those free throws in those situations. Questions? They, they seem like they were sagging off Tyler a little bit, kind of daring him to score and take advantage. Well, he's shooting 25% from the, from 15 feet away, so I would say they probably would. Do you, do you think he took advantage of that this time around? Well, he's not going to shoot that ball. He's not shooting a good percentage there. He did the best he could. I thought he played well. I thought he did a lot of good, positive things today. He rebounded it. He played excellent. Played a great game. But they're not going to guard him. Jim, what were they doing, if anything, on Rakeem in the first half? I thought they were big. I just did a better job. I mean, bumped him and made him take tough shots. And the uh, second half, he got to the basket. He got you know, got to the basket where he has to get. First half, he settled for seven, eight, ten foot, and that's that's a tough shot. Second half, he got right to the basket. He had a great, great second half. He played, played phenomenal. Jim, what were they doing, if anything, on Rakeem in the first half? You know, Jim, they're, you know, they're a really good three-point shooting team. They have a lot of guys who can shoot it. Yeah. How tough is it to cover all those guys? That's hard. They did a great job. They moved the ball. They got off to a really good start. Uh, Sherman, we just seen him make two of the last game, so we were thinking about him. He had eight points in the first. Then we then we figured out we had to play him. We did a good job with him. You know, Rodriguez didn't, and McCollum didn't make anything the first half. Uh, second half, they, they made a couple. But uh, they heard us on the lob play. Uh, forward just didn't get back and cover it, but, uh, you know, in this game we played more, more than well enough to win. You can't miss that, those free throws. That's it. We're not that good. <laughs> if we miss 11 free throws in the next game, in the close game, we'll lose. You know, we, that, that's all this game is. This game has nothing to do. You can ask a million questions about a million plays. They're going to make some good plays. We're going to make some good plays. That's the way it is. We made a couple of bad turnovers that we haven't made. But overall, this game was one thing. That's all it was. Nothing else. We make some free throws. We win the game. I don't know. Is it tough to play with that kind of such a small margin uh, for error there? Every team has. Well, I think every team has a small margin. Well, most of the team, yeah. I think every team. Is. So it's not easy to win. Not easy. Do you feel like this loss puts you behind the eight ball as far as postseason at all? Ridiculous. You're the worst I've ever been around. We would not talk. We do not talk. Maybe you're new. I don't know. We don't talk about postseason. We don't think about it. We play the next game. You got it. That's your job. Don't ask me that because I don't answer. Well, in, in all fairness, Sean McDonough said that you talked to him before the game and said. I talked to Sean privately. Oh, well. And all I said to him was every game's important. You have to win. Every game. You have to win to get in the tour. We're not in it. We're not out. That's all I said to him. What? What did you say? What did he say to you? He didn't say anything to me. I heard that on the air he said that it's going to be tough. It's going to be close whether you make it or well, not. I, I'm not saying it won't be close. Okay. But I'm not, you know, that was a private conversation, but that's all right. If he wants to put it on the air, then I'm not talking to him anymore about it. But I never talk about the tournament, never speculate about it, go in or out, you know, that's 
district. Somebody has to decide that at the end of the year. There are always tough calls. We just got to play and win as many games as we can, put ourselves in position, and whatever happens, happens. That's my, always been my policy. That's all I've ever said. And I, it, I might have said it's, it's not going to be easy, but that's not a revelation. <laughs> I think if you watch this play, it's not going to be easy. But we'll see what happens. Jim, are you surprised that your that your team is not shooting the free throws that well? I mean, are you? Uh, you know, the two guys say Mike is not shooting, hasn't been shooting good. He's a good free throw shooter in practice. He just hasn't made them in games. He's a different rhythm up there sometimes. You know, Rock's been good. He's been steady, but he, he had a bad bad day today. Um, again, that can happen. It happened. Doesn't happen to anybody, but. You're in tough games like this. If you don't make free throws, you're not going to win unless you do something extraordinary some places. Yeah. We, we played good. We didn't play good. We played a good game, but we couldn't overcome that today. So, so Jim, you're 20 games in. What's the big picture view right now? Next game. That's all I'm thinking about. Next game. Get ready. We have a tough game at North Carolina. They won 10 in a row, whatever, 10 out of 11. That's all. I never think about all this other stuff, ever. Never. It doesn't matter. It's not relevant. We just have to play as well as we can. If we do, I mean, what I was talking about today was, Sean, if we do, and I would say this last summer, then we'll put ourselves in a position where we have a chance. You know, if we don't play well, then, you know, we won't. We won't have a chance. It's as simple as that. This team's battling as hard as they can. You know, we're a very thin team, obviously, and you know, we couldn't afford another injury. We thought we might have day one, didn't get him, and then Chris goes down. I mean, it, 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 Chris hurts us in, in more ways than he's our backup center. He's a good backup center, and that's where we really miss him, to give Rock some time there uh, and, and uh, also to give Tyler some rest. And uh, that that hurts us. And those things hurt you. And... Uh, we haven't stepped up in a couple other positions where we need to uh, play better. And, uh, and then at the end of the day, you can overcome this free throws, but you got to really play well to do it. And, uh, you know, we, and, we, and we played pretty good today. But we 